guys, it's Suzette from a New York Weekend Thing Kitchen. I'm back again. Today we're super excited because I haven't had this in a while. Very popular on the food truck was the Hibaro sandwich. That's right. That is plantains we use as bread. Now I'm doing a chicken version, but literally anything can go on this. I want you to treat the plantains as if it's your bread. So I'm doing a chicken version but you can do pork. If you're a vegetarian, you can just do veggies and just layer it up and just use the plantains as bread. And it's gluten-free. If you're a vegetarian, you could also do that. If you like meat, add meat to it. So let's get started. So there's a little prep work ahead because of what I'm doing. So I wanna pickle some red onions. So I have a small red onion. I have chicken breast that we're gonna season with adobo. I have a tomato, which are just, these are just the toppings. So I have tomato, I have avocado, and some lettuce. So let's begin with our prep of the um, red onions. So what you wanna do in a saucepan, you want to add one cup of vinegar, white vinegar, one cup of water, five tablespoons of sugar, and one tablespoon of kosher salt. And all you're gonna do in a, in a saucepan is just let the um, let that dissolve, the sugar and the salt. And you're gonna cool it down. Have yourself a jar. So I'm gonna put these pickles in the jar and we're gonna let them marinate for about an hour. So it's a little prep work ahead of time if you wanted to do this the night before. That works. If you don't wanna use pickled red onions, you don't have to. I mean, it's just that simple. It's your, um, it's your sandwich. So this is how I'm making it today. So I've already um, did the vinegar and water, so I'm just gonna pour it over here. It's already cooled down. We're just gonna pour it in the jar and put it in the refrigerator and let it sit. This is my mixture. It has the vinegar, the water, sugar, and salt already cooled down. And you're just going to simply pour it over here. Now you could add optional things. You can add peppercorns, you can add some fresh garlic in there if you'd like. So I like to put mayo on my sandwich. You don't have to, you can put whatever you want. So on the mayo, I used two tablespoons of whatever mayo you like. I'm going to put one clove of garlic, because I want to make it like an aioli with a little bit of a kick. So I'm gonna put my garlic in there. And this is my homemade adobo. Of course, it's on my uh, YouTube channel. I just put it in here. And I'm gonna sprinkle a little bit of adobo in there. And if you want a little kick to this aioli, you can add some hot sauce. So of course, I make my own hot sauce. You can add any hot sauce, no hot sauce, whatever makes you happy with this. I'm spicy enough, I told you that, guys. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of hot sauce in there. Now on the chicken breast, I put about a tablespoon of vegetable oil, canola oil, whatever. I use avocado oil, it's like my new favorite thing. And I'm going to sprinkle my chicken breast with my homemade adobo. So if you're using store-bought adobo, use it mindfully because I've said this in the past, it is um, very salty. So you don't want to over salt, you know, you don't want it to be salty. So I'm just going to mix up my chicken and this is really quick. I mean, I like to do the um, the onions. I like to do the mayo. So it's like a little bit of assembly line when you're making your sandwich. And I like to add a tomato. So we're going to fry this up. Or you could even put this on the grill. However you want to cook your chicken. But now we're going to cut the platanos. Let's move that out of the way. I have a fancy damn dandy tostadilla. How do you like that? If you don't have a big one, you can use a cutting board with something on top to put, you know, to push down. One plantain for each person is what I do because that's what we're having for dinner. So you're just gonna cut the ends and you wanna cut it in the middle evenly as best as you can. Now the other great thing with this stuff is that you can make this ahead. So if you fried this, squashed it, and put cellophane around it and put it in the freezer, you could save this for another day and make it, you know, have like kind of it pre-done or if you want to do this during the week and you want to have a hibaro sandwich, if you pre-make it, squash it, don't fry it the second time, put cellophane around it and stick it in the freezer and then you have it and pop it out whenever you're ready. And you're going to have two pretty much equal sides. 
and we're gonna fry this up. And we're gonna fry the chicken too. All right guys, so I have a frying pan for my chicken, so I have about a tablespoon of oil in my frying pan. I don't wanna put too much oil, because I just want these to cook without you know, being in a lot of oil. So you wanna make sure it's nice and hot. And you're just gonna cook your chicken, like your chicken cutlets, like you would cook any other chicken cutlets. So I'm gonna cook these up so they can be ready for our hibado sandwich. Okay, in the meantime, on this frying pan, see how much oil I have in there? You wanna put enough oil to cover most of your platano because you want it to cook, because we have to squash it and refry it. Let's wait for this oil to get a little hotter because we don't want it to be soggy. In the meantime, just cook your chicken. I have it on my electric stove on a four. And you see how the chicken already has, we don't need to put that much oil because I put oil and the adobo. You can see the adobo on there. Again, guys, you can put pork. You can make hamburgers. Whatever you want, use that. Use the blackanos as bread. Whatever you would put in between two pieces of bread. All right, guys, so look, we got a nice color there. We're gonna flip them over and cook the other side. The oil is like halfway on the blackano. That's what you want, and it's bubbling nicely. And you wanna cook this, because we are gonna squash it again like your typical tostones. All right, our chicken is done, so I'm now doing the blackano. So let's see the color. Perfect. So we're just gonna flip it over so the other side can cook. All right, and you're gonna want the same coloring on the other side. Make sure that that's cooking really good, because we got it. All right, guys, these look like they're ready. See that coloring? That's what we want. And make sure you have yourself a paper towel so you can drain off the excess oil. I'm gonna move these on over here. And then we're gonna use our handy dandy. Look how pretty that looks. Put that right here. Now this is gonna be, I just want you guys to know, these sandwiches are extremely filling extremely you could only eat one i'm gonna take my knife to scoop it out so i'm gonna just drop it back in the oil just for a few minutes squash the next one for my next piece of look at how big these things are trust me one is all you need so you just want to fry that up like you do tostones and by the way guys if you are interested this i actually brought online i follow this guy um Hibaro Modeno, if you've never followed him, he's on Facebook and I think Instagram too. And he makes these amazing, beautiful things and he's from Puerto Rico. All right, so I'm ready to take these out. Like I said, you don't have to um, leave the front. See how that golden brown color is? Yay. And now when you make these Hibarito sandwiches, you want to eat it right away. Um, because tostones do not taste good cold. So let's go over and assemble our sandwich. I have my beautiful chicken cutlets already done. My pickled red onions. I've got my little spicy mayo here that I made. Lettuce, I'm gonna do tomatoes, and I'm gonna do avocado. So the first thing I do is just put this, my mayo, I mean you do as much as you want, obviously, to your liking. So I'm gonna put some mayo there. I'm gonna put my lettuce, my tomatoes, my avocado, and I'm also gonna put, of course, the pickled onions. Now, I just love doing all of this because all of the different flavors just kind of just come through and it's it's really is delicious. I'm gonna put, I like a lot of mayo, so I'm gonna put a little bit more mayo on this side. Ooh, be careful, caliente. And then I'm going to put my chicken right here, guys. Right on top. And you have yourself the most amazingly beautiful hibato sandwich. And it's hot. And I have some kosher salt, so before I cut this in half for my son, I'm just gonna sprinkle some kosher salt on top. It's a big sandwich, guys. Trust me, you could share this. I'm not sharing that. He's not sharing it, but <laughs> you actually can. Look at how beautiful that looks. He's gonna burn his tongue with this. It's still hot. Okay, the taste test is about to happen, guys. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Now that is delicious. Do you wanna I, pinch me? 
Want me to pinch you? I'm gonna slap you or something. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, guys. This is probably my favorite, though. His this favorite. Is my favorite. Thanks, guys, for watching the New Eureka Thing Kitchen. Don't forget to like my channel. Till next time.